second to lesson 27. In this lesson, we will go over the effects. And uh, in this particular one, we'll start with the extrude and bevel, since it's part of the 3D one. So let's start. First, we will make a shape. We'll make a rectangle, or a square for that matter. We'll change the fill, and go to effect 3D, extrude and bevel. Here you can see a couple of options, but first we'll click more options. So we can see everything that is available. One thing that you can see is that we have access. So let's click preview in order to see what's going on. And we can see that we can modify the X. You can also move the cube. Okay. You can uh, select different views from here. Front, back, left, right, top, button, and so on. Then you can change the perspective. This simulates lens distortion, which is a camera effect. As you can see, this looks a lot more 3D than this one. Okay, you got the idea. Then we can change the X2 depth. We can change if there are caps or no caps. We can choose a bevel, and there are different presets here, so let's choose one. Okay. You can choose the height, and if you choose if the bevel is added or subtracted from the original shape, pretty much like a stroke panel with the caps. Then you can choose uh, the shading, you can create new lights. So in this case, this object is lighted differently. You can delete, of course, or move the selected light to the back of the object. You can uh, change light intensity. So you can see here, ambient light, highlight intensity, and several other options. The plan steps are pretty important because um, you can justify how many uh, shades you can uh, use to increase quality. Think of it like a blend tool. The more shades, the more smooth it looks, but also the harder to control. You can choose the shading, maybe make it custom or red. You can make it blue or whatever. Let's change it black again. You can choose to preserve spot colors if you're preparing for print or draw hidden faces which is the one on the bottom, if you don't have the caps enabled. Now, one other thing we need is uh, I want to show you how to map art. For now, we'll click OK. Or just choose a preset. And uh, here in the map part, we can see different symbols we have. You have to create a symbol with your artwork. You may create uh, signs or labels or logos or whatever you want, and you first make them symbols and so on. If you have a more complex shape, of course, in the symbol you can group it first and then uh, make it a symbol, and uh, the entire group will be treated as one symbol. Now, here you have uh, different faces. So you can see everyone, you can see the red line changes. This is both outside and inside. But we'll now choose this one. And let's choose a shape. We can increase it and place it. As you can see, this is pretty obvious. You can choose scale to fit or whatever manipulation we want. We can also shade the artwork and make it more realistic or use invisible geometry just to render in 3D without the actual shape. Again, you can quickly change them. So now we we'll click OK. 
this is uh, fine but we'll click cancel and we'll go to the next option the next option is called revolve so how does this work well let's see revolve we'll click preview and there you go the shape is sorted around itself this is not very obvious now so let's uh, make another shape let's draw something that resembles a vase or whatever object you want doesn't have to be precise okay and now we go again to 3d revolve you click preview and there you go you have a shape now there are some uh, artifacts here because uh, of the lines we used but we can change them later now if you click more options i can show you what blend steps means you, if you look here you can see that those are uh, a couple of bands the effect is called banding by the way same as ingredients you will use and you, that is because there is not enough color information to make a smooth transition but if we can increase the number of steps this should solve the problem now be wary it takes a lot more calm to calculate but you can see here now the shape is smooth you can again you can change you can adjust the angle or maybe make half shape it will help if the color was in black for the shape but that doesn't matter right now again you can map the artwork and change a couple of other settings and you can put an offset if you want Let's see what happens. Okay, you got the idea. Now let's move on. The last option is called rotate. Then we'll click preview and this just rotates an object. There is no special settings here. You just make it 3D. Okay, so you can see no special settings here, and this is for the 3D settings. In the le next lesson, we'll go through more options, but for now, this is okay. Thank you. See you next time.